Working in collaboration with a number of partners, including Glasgow City of Science, researchers at Glasgow Caledonian University are investigating new innovations to engage with school pupils to teach them the importance of hand hygiene. As well as introducing them to these knitted microbes, they plan to break the world record for the number of people involved in a hand hygiene lesson in multiple venues. The record will involve GCU student nurses and around 8,000 pupils from more than 80 primary schools across Glasgow. This project really was to, uh, designed to engage with primary school children and so I was looking for something that might have been a bit more attractive uh, for the children to engage with and so the idea of the knitted bugs uh, came from that and there were already existing patterns that we've uh, been able to use and the thing is it's captured people's imagination from right around the world um, we've had knitted bugs sent in from all over the place uh, from right across the UK it's a known fact that people don't wash their hands at every opportunity they ought to. Um, we've all seen people leave public toilets without washing their hands. We've seen people prepare food without washing their hands. And we know that many of the infections and diseases that are spread, particularly amongst children, can be stopped as um, having a simple intervention such as hand hygiene. So it's the single most important intervention that you can do to prevent disease. It's, a, it's the World Health Organisation, they have a six step technique and that's what we use within the clinical areas within Glasgow um, and it's, we teach it to all our, our student nurses and, and healthcare professionals are all taught with this technique and that's what we're going to be demonstrating to the, the pupils in the schools and they just wash their hands like this and then there's a six step technique that, that we use to, to make sure that all areas of the hands are covered so that they then don't transfer any um, microbes from, from uh, one person to another. We want to not just have this as a one day event and so we've already provided the, the schools with a legacy kit which will comprise the a set of knitted microbes, uh, the lesson plan and uh, a light box and UV gel to do uh, hand hygiene testing and the other thing is really to use social media techniques to encourage the uh, schools to upload images uh, of the microbes and then in May uh, the Voluntary Arts Scotland have a craft week and we want the schools to participate in the craft week by making their own microbes uh, and also having on display some of these ones so um, it, again it, it gives a bit more longevity to the project. In this opportunity um, we're looking at um, educating children so if you start with people being really young and you um, give them lifetime habits that they can use the rest of life. It protects their own health for the rest of life, protects um, their, their families, it protects people that they come into contact with, and in particular it helps the school because it stops these lost days um, to um, infection.